an overdose case. Now, I had a professor that told me once every good presentation should have a kitten, a puppy, and a baby. So the kitten is fine. The kitten is sleeping. No animals were harmed in the making of this presentation. Deja Dead was my first book, as she said, this, uh, and they, frankly, they don't listen to anything I say, so the fact that they didn't listen to me talking about this fiction was no surprise to me at all. I get no respect among my colleagues, and I really have to disagree with him about the fiction. I think every university professor is involved in writing fiction when they do their curriculum vita. <laughs> but Deja Dead, um, I work a lot at the Laboratoire de Sciences du Désir et de Médecine Légale, which may be a little familiar to those of you who have read my books, because that is where Temperance Brennan works. That is up in Quebec province. Those of you that are a little rusty on your Canadian geography, that's Quebec. It is part of Canada and remains part of Canada, at least at the moment. Um, I was called into the case. Um, two women had been murdered in Montreal. In fact, both of these women were found shortly after they had been killed. So those are cases that went directly to the pathologist. The anthropologist is brought in in cases where the body is compromised, and a pathologist cannot do a regular autopsy. Cases in which the body is burned or mutilated or mummified or dismembered or decomposed or perhaps just bone. So these two women had been murdered and mutilated, but they were fresh body cases. I was not involved in those. By the way, those of you that don't read French, le psychopath, that means the psychopath. <laughs> so after the second woman was murdered, um, our hero here, a man named Serge Archambault, uh, took her bank card and used it at a local convenience store. So of course, uh, that transaction was, was discovered and police went to the store. There was a video camera there. They, had, they isolated the frame, got a picture of our hero, showed it to the uh, store manager, and he said, well, I don't know who he is, but he comes in here all the time. So they staked out the store, and sure enough, within six hours, our hero showed up, and they arrested him. At that time, he admitted to having killed another woman two years earlier and buried her in five different locations across the St. Lawrence River. This had been two years since death, so the body was skeletal at that point. So that was the case in which I became involved.